Olufunke Akindili, PDP Deputy Governorship Candidate, Lagos State. Okay, it's officially announced by Funke Akindili herself for an Hollywood actress. So, so now she will be the running mate of Dr. Olajide Adediron of Lagos State under the platform PDP. See, now, now where this politics say eh, it don't start. Of course, now don't say this party, PDP and APC, they really get sense. They don't say no youth, they support them. No, they say youth, not really get the support of the youth. Now, celebrities know they campaign for them because of their fan base. They don't say they come out for the campaign for any old parties or any old people, you know, say they will lose their fan base. So, according to a small, small people, don't they hear say, Funky Akide, they don't approach her before, say, me, she campaign, she no gray. So, then they can fix her as a deputy governor. For Lagos State, so the rumor don't they work a sense, you know, you know. And now which they officially announce them, you no, know, she won't make proper video just to convince people with the reason why she won't be she won't become deputy governor for Lagos State. So for 2023 election, make people vote, you know. Because, no, she talk plenty thing, which I go upload the video for here for now my correct people. So. At the end part of this video, you get question what I want to ask. I may make a try watch to the end. But this video will go there a little bit lengthy because you go here when Fuke talk plenty, plenty thing. The reason why she won't become the deputy governor of Lagos State. The fear of the youth true true at the beginning of wise decisions so of course now no see youth now they they eager they hungry for better government they they hungry for better leader not just one vote political party so nine our cc can come out as deputy governor so more could listen negotiations it's important to share with you my decision to venture into what i consider a much bigger facet of service to humanity i am convinced it's best to hear directly from me with my known career in the entertainment industry spanning over 25 years and the God-given grace to achieve quite remarkable success, I have had the privilege of access to work and engage with people from all walks and strata of life. Within this period, I've watched with great concern the plight of the less fortunate, especially in the youth category. And this drifted me towards my less popular but equally strong passion, which is to help, assist, and contribute to the growth of youths, women, and children. I was raised by a strict teacher father who retired as a school principal and a caring mother who is a medical doctor to be hardworking and to have value for life. Therefore, dignity of labor and compassion for the needy became second nature to me and resulted in the birth of the Jennifer Foundation. With this, I've been able to reach out and help the youths by providing job opportunities and welfare to those in need. I am a Lagosian, born out of Ikorodu. So when the Lagos PDP gubernatorial candidate, Dr. Abdulaziz Olajide Adediron Jando, asked me to be his running mate as a deputy governor in the next year's gubernatorial election, I saw it as an opportunity to help liberate and improve the welfare of our people, particularly the deprived youth, women and the girl child. My decision is not only to accept this huge responsibility, but also to work tirelessly and complement Jando's burning desire to see our dear state of Lagos live up to its full potential with the people as immediate and direct beneficiaries. Over the years, a lot of young people have been ignored, victimized, maimed for daring to have a dream. So I use this opportunity to call out all well-meaning residents of Lagos, especially the youths. It's indeed time to use our numerical strength to our full advantage. It's time to take our rightful place in matters that concerns our lives and our future. It's time to rally ourselves and support our own. I am not unaware of the cost of this assignment to my vibrant career, which I must now necessarily put on hold. It's a huge personal sacrifice. But my resolve is that no sacrifice is too much for the actualization of the urgent mission to rescue our people and our dear state. I must express my deep appreciation both to our party leadership and our gubernatorial candidates for considering me worthy of such a great call to serve our people. It's a call that I take with reverence and utmost sense of responsibility. Indeed, we can achieve a Lagos that truly works for all her residents as opposed to a privileged, hand-picked few. So let's do it. Given your mandate, be assured that the people's governor, Dr. Olajide Adedero, with the support of my humble self, represent the much-needed breath of fresh air in Lagos. Thank you. I am Olufunke Akindili, PDP Deputy Governorship Candidate, Lagos State. So, my current people, I don't hear direct from her. So, she did come out as Deputy 
governor under the umbrella under the umbrella so what when i think when i feel same funke go fi pull out this when i feel same of course i don't go her comment section after she dropped this video and um plenty of our friends over thousands of congratulations plenty of people they support her you know and i know say she get huge fan base that is the reason why she not so the question we say why not they use our celebrities as deputy governor first of all not to decay for river state now for kakindele for lagos state like why now all this years they've not been seeing them awards like everybody now won't attack because they don't really see anybody they campaign so make not drop for comment section what i think but at the same time i wish her nothing but all the best hopefully they will win always with the eager